What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going to be for <laughs> Woo! What's going to be for every day? Of another day? Of another day? Of another day we call Thursday. Anybody being said, what's going to be for? Um, hopefully everybody's still among us. No one is checked out on us. And, you know, everybody's having a productive day and things are going the way they want to go accordingly to plan. You know, we're in a life of a lot of people are going through a lot of difficult times at this time and, you know, we need to have much more support when it comes down to the girls like us as well as anyone, you know, that's in a struggle as far as trying to live the life through their truth, especially for the girls like me who are, you know, trying to survive the best way you can when no one seems to understand your situation as far as you're being true to you and living your truth. And for the men who are out there who decide, you know, that you're going to live in your truth and you're not going to hide even though people tell you to come out and be true to you and when you do, everybody reprimands you for it and attack you for it. Um, I commend you for being true to yourself and not allowing anyone to push you to a box of being something that they want you to do because at the end of the day, when we all at the deathbed and we're about to die, you will not pick, sit back and say, well, I listen to this person now, I'm about to die. I could have lived my life the way I wanted, but my life is now officially over and now I'm done. Now you're so mad at that person, we could be mad at yourself because God made you here as one individual with one mind, which you should use within the self. He created you, he knew your path where you were going. All the thing you had to do was follow your path. Of course, you're going to have people that's going to come after you because that's the way the world is. But if you have yourself truth and you have the truth within yourself, no one should make you go astray. Anyway, the being said, what's going to people? Um, I want to talk in reference to, um, it's a new pill out. Well, maybe it's not new, but, you know, I've heard a couple of bit about it and stuff like that, but I want to talk to you about it just in case you've never heard of it because, you know, I did a little research on it as well because I wanted to find out, you know, exactly what was going on. It is called the prep pill. That is the prep pill. Now, you may say, what is the prep pill? It's um, pre-exposure prophylaxis. It's pre-exposure prophylaxis. And the thing about it is that it is um, a HIV, it is a HIV pill that, it is a pill to prevent you from getting HIV. Now the thing is that you have to get tested because you want to make sure that you don't have HIV before you take this pill. And the thing about it is that this pill is a pill to help prevent HIV. Now as far as this saying, it's saying that it is 99% you know, um, approval, but you know, like I always say, you say sex, you know, but they said that it's approval and the FDA had approved it. And the thing about it is that now if you already have HIV, of course it's not going to work for you because you already have HIV, so there is nothing for it to prevent, so you have to take the full amount of the doses of what you need to do, you know, as far as, you know, getting your body to, to live a normal life and a productive life because just because you have HIV or the LA, it's with, well, the medicine out here has made it that you can live your life much more productive and a longer lifespan. Now, the PrEP will, there was a question that was asked, will the PrEP pill cause drug resistance? Now, that's only, that will occur if you're an HIV positive person with the drug, then you know, it could um, resist it. Now, the thing about it was like, I was trying to figure out exactly, you know, what is this PrEP pill does. Okay, let me give you an idea what the pepper looks like. This is what the pepper looks like. Okay, now you see it's a blue pill, and the thing about it is that, you know, I always say, you know, you say sex is Like that, but you know, with me, that's the way I think. But um, the prep pill is it, it is a pill that's like okay. Now you have T cells inside of your body. Now the T cells inside of your body is you know to, pre to pre prevent you from you know to fight off diseases. So of course I'm gonna look up for this. Okay. The, um, okay, let me see if I can just remember because I was I can't find my paper. But anyway. The T cells inside of your body is supposed to, you know, prevent you from getting, you know, to help fight off diseases and stuff like that. Now, the prep pill, what it does is it takes your cells and it covers your cells up in like, you know, um, 
protect yourself. So this way, if any HIV gets in there, it's already, your cells are already protected. Now it takes up to a week for it to really, you know, really get into your body. It is not a, a sex after, you know, if you have sex you, with someone that you may think is HIV positive, you pop a pill after it or before. It does not work that way. It takes about a week before it can actually be productively, you know, within your system as far as, you know, taking a full effect. Now, it doesn't, you know, and you have to take this pill every single day. It is not a pill that you cannot, you know, it's not a pill that you could take, you know, after the fact and say, oh, I may be sick or, you know, um, that I may be sick from this, you know, from this pill. So the thing is that I had to go do a little research and stuff like that. Of course, I know I was going to try to, okay. Your body is protected from the cells called, okay. Your body, and sorry, your body, as we speak of now, it has CD4 T cells. And these cells are to keep your body normal. And when you get exposed to any germs, it, you know, it, it bites the germs off, the virus off. Now, when you're on this PrEP pill, what it does is it protects your T cells already. But you have to take it every day. You cannot skip a day. You have to take it every day. Now, if you have sex and you didn't take it that day, you, you may end up catching HIV. Is basically what it said. You have to take this pill every single day. You cannot skip a day. And when you um, have HIV in your body, it, see, this is the thing. Now, this is what happens when, you know, you you have. This is what happens when someone gets HIV. Okay, when you have a, when you have HIV in your body, it huts down. Okay, let me just say this again. So I don't want to confuse you. Now, this is what happens when someone contacts you with HIV. It hunts down those T cells that I just said inside of your body, the CDF, the CD4 T cells. It hunts it down and it attacks the T cells. And what it does is it attacks it and it starts making billions and billions of more HIV. So it just starts copying this stuff. It's like going into stuff. And it, um, you ever watch Gremlins? How when the water hit it, it just kept making bigger, it kept making bigger, kept making bigger. This is what it does. Now, it just keeps making building, keeps building up billions and billions and billions of it. So what happens is the body can't keep up with how much it's done, you know, reproductive and, and, and formed that the body starts getting weak because the cells are starting to take over and it's creating more and more and more, which makes the infection spread. And that's the reason why your body can't really fight it all, you know, the way it would normally would if it's just, you know, the regular thing. Now, the thing about it is that, I don't know, just want to make sure I cover all the bases. Now, the thing about it with the prep fill. It is not a cure for HIV. So if you have HIV, it is not a cure for you. You have to be already on this pill when you have, um, say, sex. Now, with me, I hold this pill that says you always have safe sex. But that's on you. That's your body. Do what you want to do. But it is not a cure for HIV. PrEP is not a vaccine. Because you can catch other diseases on PrEP. Just because you, it may protect you from HIV, there are other diseases that you still can get. Medication needs to take time in order for it to work. You know, within anything, it takes time. But within, within this, it takes within a week. So you have to give yourself time, you know, for it. Now, sometimes taking this pill, you may have a stomach reaction to it until your body gets used to this pill. Now, PrEP is not a morning after pill. Look, you have said before. You know, like you just have sex with somebody, unsafe sex, and you don't sure if they, you're not sure if they're HIV positive. Now, you say, I'm going to pop a pill just to make sure my body is gathered. It, it, you still could get the AIDS because simple fact, or the HIV, because the simple fact of the matter is that you didn't take it away it was supposed to, so it didn't build up the cells to protect it. So your cells were just sitting out there, you know, waiting for infections to take place for HIV. PrEP um, does not, go, okay, I'll cover that. Um, some may get upset, I'm going cover that. Okay, PrEP should only be used if you are HIV negative. It does not work in you. And I think I said this before, I'm going to say it again. It, a PrEP does not, PrEP does, can only be used if you are HIV negative. Now, if you can take it all you want, but at the end of the day, it's not going to do nothing for you. You need the full treatment if you are HIV positive. And if you want more information about this, you can go right to here. It is called um, prepep.org, and I have a link right there. You know where you could go on to find that information and references. Did you know about this prep pill? Now, remember what I said before. It protects the cells inside of your body. So now when you get H when someone infects you with HIV, it's already protected itself. So it's just going to fight it off, and it's going to kill off the HIV. Now, the thing about it is that, like I said, the, C the CD4 T cell is already in your body. 
So those are already So the key word here is to always use safe sex for me as far as, you know, as far as, you know, um, having sex. But if you don't want to, that's on you. But I just gave you a little bit of something in case you didn't know about it. It's called the prep pill. And basically what it does is it helps to prevent from you getting HIV. It's a pill that covers your cells. So this way can prevent it. But, you know, within me, I, you know, big body says things work. And, you know, then all the, I'm waiting. It's, it's been out. So I don't know if someone has been on a prep pill and um, they've gotten it anyway, you know, HIV. But it is what it is. Everything has an error in it sometimes because confidence is not 100% proof. But, hey. Every little bit helps. Anyway, with the being said, I want to know how you feel about this. Are you glad about this? Hopefully you are glad about it. It's a good thing as far as, you know, living it within your truth, within your body. Anyway, with the being said, I just wanted to put this out here for you. Just in case um, it is officially Thursday, and I want you to be safe at all times. Anyway, with the being said, I want to say hello, my dogs. Meow. Yeah. I want to say hello, my kings. Woo. I want to say hello, new people. Boom. I want to say hello, old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What you do to you, I want you to do the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck up.